Hey everyone, it's Eric Kleeman here. How are you lives treating you out? You're watching another episode of EML77 TV, episode 236. How's it going? Now, the, the previous two episodes I did, um, we have malls closing all over the place here in this country. And plus here in the South Coast. As you know, three years ago, beginning of 2016, the Harbor Mall closed its doors after being around for almost 35 years. Almost 45 years, excuse me. And the Harbor Mall officially closed its, closed its doors, and I did a top five list. So I decided on, on episode 234, I decided to tell the top five stores I will miss at the Harbor Mall. And recently, um, the, at the end of March this, this year, the Swansea Mall closed its doors, so I decided uh, on the last episode to do a top 10 stores at the Swansea Mall that I will miss there. But now, the Silver City Galleria may end up going that route. Let me explain. The Silver City Galleria has been announced back in what, May 2nd that the, that the mall is in, for, in foreclosure. But it will be auctioned off this coming Friday. Now, the fate of the gallery is in the hands of whoever buys it. And if this, part, this in, if the individual that buy, that buys it decides to do away with the gallery of mall, then we're looking at another mall going by the wayside and being part of an ancient, ancient relic that is mall shopping. Mall shopping was big in between in between seventies and nineties, basically. And but I decided to compile a top ten stores I will miss in the Silver City Gallery. I should have done a top twenty five. Here's the reason why: I've consulted all my consulted, but these directories here, these are all the Silver City Gallery of Mall directories that I had over the years, as you can see. But this the this one. This one right here was from 1996. 1996. Would you believe that? Four years after the mall was open, April the seventh, 1992. And over these and over these years, I saw a lot of malls. I saw a lot, a lot of malls. Unbelievable. A lot. You know, so I saw a lot of stores come and go at this mall. Every time I visit there. So, that being said, it wasn't easy picking out my top ten for this one. And it had two stores. I had a lot of sto it had two stories and had a lot of a lot of stores over the years. It was unbelievably tough to pick out my top ten episodes. Let me count something. Six, nine, twelve. Okay. So technically, I picked out the top 10, and I got 12 honorable mentions. I got more honorable mentions than my top 10 list. This was a very difficult decision. Very difficult. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the top 10 stores that I will miss at the Silver City Galleria. All right? This is in the event the Silver City Galleria is no more. All right? Because it's more likely that's going to happen, even though it's going to be auctioned off. So... Here's the deal, all right? Now, number 10, it was Stephen Barry's. Now, Stephen Barry, I bought some Transformers shirts when I was there. There was a lot of cool shirts they had, just besides uh, college sports and all that. So, Stephen Barry's was at number 10. Number 9, Suncoach Motion Picture Company. Bought a few VC, uh, VHS tapes from there. So, that's pretty cool to see. And I think a couple of DVDs. When I, while it was there, number eight, Sam Goody. Sam, Sam Goody. I uh, bought some cassettes while I was there. Number seven, Disney Store. Bought some t shirts from there as well. Number six, Walden Books. Walden Books, folks. Yep, Walden Books. Bought bought a few books from there as well. Video game books. What not? Uh, number five, Hoyts and Re Hoyts slash Regal Cinemas. Regal Cinemas is still going on. I've watched a few movies. In fact, my father took me 
to the first movie. I think we saw the Santa Claus. He decided he wanted to see a movie. I said, let's go over and see the Santa, Santa Claus. I said, okay. And that's where I first saw Doc Stalker's The RSK Game. That's... When I first saw Doc Stalker's, I tried it out. It was pretty, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So, it was tough playing as Anna Karras, though. But I gotten better at it, obviously, since getting the game. All right, in Regal Cinemas, I did. The last movie I watched from there was Pixels a couple of years ago. I think 2014. That's five years ago. Okay. All right, number four, round one, even though it's still there. Uh, round one um, had a lot of arcades. Uh, Alien vs. Predator was there. I thought it was really cool. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And whatnot. Uh, number three, Cyber Station. That's where I first saw Super Street Fighter 2. I saw um, also the SNK games like World Heroes 2, Fatal Fury 2, which I thought was really cool. A lot of arcades. And um, number two, Best Buy. Now, Best Buy is on this list, even though we have one back in Dartmouth. This Best Buy was the first one to introduce me to the internet, Google, YouTube. That made me want to have a computer. And Best Buy was crucial in doing that. And the number one, st- the number one store that I will miss at the Galleria Mall, FYE. That's why I got my first mix and burn at FYE. They did, were, f- were the first FYE in the, on the South Coast to do that. Swansea follows suit, then Dartmouth. All right. And I bought, and I bought a couple of Super Sentai DVDs from there just recently. Uh, Hurricane Jure and Jetman. So, so here are the honorable mentions. Um, there are three eateries on here, and that would be Burger King, Taco Bell, Ruby Tuesday. That's when I first saw Ruby Tuesday. First saw Ruby Tuesday at Taco Bell because I heard about it from uh, my friend Jason Esposito. And I was like, Ruby Tuesday? Never heard of that restaurant before. And uh, didn't know they had one in Dartmouth as well So at that time. But that kind of made things history. Uh, Newport Creamery. The Ground Round should be on this list. Too. I, never, I think I didn't been to the Ground Round just once, I think. And we had a ground, so ground round should be on this list too. The honorable mentions, um, electronics boutique and Babbage's. They were both video game stores that merged with game, merged to form GameStop, which is another um, on this list here. Spencer's, obviously, we still have a Spencer's Hot Topic. We still have a Hot Topic. Um, that's when I first saw Hot Topic it was at the Galleria. Uh, Radio Shack, obviously, Ninja Marshmallow. Cool store for geeks, that's for sure. And I'm a geek in my own right. So that's where it's going. Dick's Sporting Goods, we still have one here in the uh, um, in Dartmouth. So that's the case. Uh, like I said, Spencer's. And we have still have a Spencer's over here. So uh, I'll tell you what, that's it. That's all the uh, stores I just mentioned. And it is totally crazy uh, that... <clears throat> totally crazy that uh, all these stores, all these malls are closing. A lot of people say it's the internet's doing. Afraid so. Because the internet, you know, you talk about shopping and everything else, the chaos, the money, the economy, all that. And it's unbelievable how things have changed over these years and... Uh, I don't know. Sometimes people were asking me, "Will will the Dartmouth Mall be on the chopping block?" I don't think so. Because once, once if the gallery goes, you're talking about this. You're talking about you got the Providence Place Mall still open. You got the Emerald Square Mall still open. We don't know how long they're going to last, and possibly for a while, for a long time, because Providence Place Mall is in the middle, like in the middle of the freaking highway. So you get all that traffic going on. So a lot of people go there, and then you got the um, Emerald Square Mall, also a lot of traffic there as well. So you. I think it depends because the Swansea, the Swansea Mall, and it's not the gallery. The gallery is like in a place out, of, you know, in a in a place where in the middle of nowhere, you know. And Harbor Mall had a lot of traffic until it started, you know, it started going as well. And it's, you know, it, it is it's surreal. It is surreal. But uh, nevertheless, um, a lot of things are happening. A lot of things are changing, obviously, and. Uh, Maybe maybe I should design some T-shirts and all to to uh, you know preserve their memories, so to speak. And it's a little bit on the crazy side, so we'll see what happens. All right, so that's all the time we have on the show. God's blessings to all of you. Catch you on the flip side, 
And uh, on the next episode, I got to talk about the uh, WWE event happening in Saudi Arabia, a matchup that I want to see. Even though these guys are past their prime and everything else, I don't care what anybody else says. I want to see this matchup. It was a dream matchup of mine. I will talk more about on it on the next episode. Okay? I will see you guys later. Um, God's blessings to you. I'll see you on episode 237. And remember, pay attention. You might learn something. Okay? I'll see you guys later. Have a good and wonderful night. And the afternoon. Whatever I am. Still afternoon. <laughs> See ya. Peace.